You know, obviously I knew, you know, right when I got into college that I wanted to be a coach. Okay, I was born in San Angelo, Texas. It's in uh, West Texas. Uh, my mom, my dad, I have an older brother uh, who now has two daughters, which are my two nieces. And uh, my whole family was, was born and raised in San Angelo, and that's, that's where I was uh, raised at and uh, went to high school at and was fortunate enough to stay there and, and play collegiately at Angelo State University. My dad used to drop me and my brother off at uh, two days at the high school where I went to high school at. And since I was about in the fourth grade, me and my brother were the ball boys for the high school. And, you know, that's one vivid memory I have uh, about football. I was, was fortunate enough to earn a you know, scholarship to Angelo State, uh, play football there. And once again, uh, started three years in college, uh, won two South Division championships, and then you know, more, more importantly was able to earn a degree uh, while playing football. In 2005, I had a chance to go to the University of Houston. And uh, when I was there, I learned this offense. Um, this, this offense, there's a small, small group of guys uh, that know this offense. And I left there, went back to high school coaching uh, for a period of time. Um, and then, you know, in 2011, um, you know, when Coach Babers had the opportunity to, to, to come to Eastern, um, you know, in, in a roundabout way because of my knowledge of the offense, uh, and, and having the past experience of running it. Uh, that's really, when it comes down to it, how it ended up here. And, uh, you know, with all that, it's a blessing. It's, it's been a great opportunity. It's been a great move. And, uh, you know, very excited about being here. What I love about game day, um, it, you know, it's just the final product. Uh, you know, you every week basically starts back over. That starts back over at ground zero to a certain extent. Uh, you know, so you, you put in time and you put in hours, you put in work, you put in practice reps, uh, you know, they, they go back, you know, like through the spring and through the summer. And, um, you know, all that culminates into one every Saturday. And, and you know, that's the most, uh, you know, exciting thing is, it, is, is you get to see the final product. You know, like the coach has said before, our job on Saturday is to make sure our guys pass the test. So, you know, we're constantly reviewing through the week. Uh, multiple reps, ideas, thoughts, you know, schematically going over with our guys. Um, you know, and then the best part is you get to turn them loose on Saturday and they get to go do what they love to do. You know, all those guys are passionate about playing. And you get to see those guys compete at a high level. You get to see their passion, you know, come out on the field. You know, and then when you have success and you end up with a win, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that, that's very rewarding as well. Every day. I mean, I think uh, I think it's a constant. We're not, you know, with our guys uh, and through the years of coaching. I mean, I, I, you can learn as much as from from kids as they can from you. And it's just it's really interesting to see how kids are motivated. You see how they they learn, you know, and uh, you know just the different types of people they are. Uh, you know, and you just kind of put all those things in your rolodex as a coach. Maybe the most rewarding is getting kids, you know that didn't think they could or, or maybe had the ability to, you know, that didn't have the, the background or, you know, came from certain circumstances and, and you see those kids, achieve, you know, achieve something, whether it was a high school diploma or, or you know, a college degree and just get, getting to see those kids grow every day and, you know, become, you know, turn into a young man. You know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you, you've got to be on top of your game. You've got to be great, uh, you know, at coaching our kids, holding our kids accountable. Uh, for being great student athletes, you know, and then the recruiting aspect as well. You know, that's, uh, you, we, we, you know, it's a 24-7. You know, there, there's two seasons. It's football season and recruiting season. And, you know, it, it's a constant. But, um, you know, just you've got, you know, daily you've got to be on top of your game. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't get tired with anything. You've got to continue to, you know, to push on, uh, you know, and find the things within yourself and w within your staff. Uh, you know, to motivate your guys and, you know, continue, you know, through a season. It's definitely a path when you get down it, you have to be a thousand percent in, you know, of somebody might have a job at some profession where they might be wholehearted or it's something they like to do. And you got to love coaching, you know, it's got to be in your blood. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to come from good cloth and you've got to have a, you know, a strong spine. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a job that can be challenging at times and also very rewarding at times. So, you know, it, it's not for everybody. And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a job 
uh, that I'm a very fortunate profession to be in. There's a lot of quality men in this profession, and um, you know I'm lucky to be here at Eastern Illinois with Coach Babers and, and the staff that he's assembled, and uh, we think we possess a lot of those qualities.